Hey guys, on today's show we are talking about to be or not to be, that is the question, an independent travel agent or do you want to work as a travel agent under another agency? If you're wondering, should I be fully independent? Should I work from so for someone else? What's going to be best for me personally? We're going to talk about that on today's show. We're going to evaluate which, which setup might be best for you personally, which setup will earn the most income, and also resources to get started as a travel agent regardless of either of those paths that you take. Before I forget, guys, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please like like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get all of our tips and training and advice on how to grow your own travel business that's what we educate on here every single week so make sure you do that and you won't miss any of our awesome content with that let's get started By the way guys, I'm Cindy Williams. I started in the travel industry over 25 years ago. Shh, don't tell anyone. No, seriously, I'm so proud of that. I love the travel industry. I own and operate my own award-winning travel agency. So everything that I'm training you has actually been tested in our agency. Today I also run Careers on Vacation. I'm the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which teaches people how to launch, grow, and supersize their travel businesses. So enough about me let's go ahead and get started today we're discussing to be or not to be an independent travel agent versus working a travel agent that's working for someone else and these are very different models in today's marketplace so I'm really gonna dive in on like the specifics the pros and cons so this will hopefully help you decide which path might be right for you so I want to start by talking about independent travel agents this is when you are an independent agent from home or while you travel and you are doing everything yourself right so if you get a hundred percent of your commission you have a hundred percent control over your brand you get to make all the decisions you're not working for anyone and you're not held to anybody else's rules or standards in terms of that piece and those are kind of the pros right like you make the most amount of money you get to do whatever you want you don't have to ask permission for things with your brand you're not in a contract of any kind and you're making all the decisions the cons to being an independent agent a lot of times people don't think about these or if you've never been in the industry you would never even know this stuff unless you found this video and I'm glad that you did but there's some very complicated things about being an independent agent that I want you to think about first of all if you've never sold travel you've never been a travel agent, you gotta learn all of that stuff first. That doesn't happen like overnight. I feel like the rain's gonna kick up here. Do I look like Beyonce with my hair blowing? Oh, okay. Oh, back to the topic at hand. If you've never sold travel before, it can be overwhelming because like, do you know about route times? Do you know how to ass assign seeds? Do you know what you should do if someone has to cancel? Like, there's a lot to be in a travel agent. So if you've never sold travel before, it can be um, it can be overwhelming. The other thing is, you have to know how to set your business up online. There's a lot of pieces to that. And if you're brand new going into it, that can be new as well. The other thing with being an independent agent is you're gonna have to do all of your own marketing even with an even with working for someone else though in most models and I'll talk about that in a second you're still gonna have to do some marketing but you're gonna have to do even more of it if you're doing a hundred percent on your own the other thing that people don't realize is every time you want to work with a supplier and I have some great videos on how travel agents get paid so you can check those out later but how basically how it works is if I want to sell a trip to Disney I sell a trip and I put a certain code or a certain number in and that code is attached to my bank account essentially when I sell a trip the client travels I get a commission and boom poof the commission shows up in my bank account like magic that's awesome right it's great but there was also a lot of paperwork that had to be done to get that set up. For every single vendor you're going to sell, you have to go through that process of working with them, establishing that relationship, filling out the paperwork, giving them all of your banking information. Like it's a little, it's a lot to do, but you have to do it with several vendors, especially if you're selling a lot of different products. So just don't forget that part. A lot of people don't know what that is. I've never heard of it. And they jump in and they take a training somewhere and they think they're a travel agent, but then they have no way of getting commissions. So if you're going to be fully independent, you're going to have to do all of the, that vendor um, facilitation first. Also, there's a ton of misinformation out there in the industry. Like I 
I saw, I was in the industry before there was this thing called hosting, before there were all the setups that there are today. Like, it kind of evolved from your mom and pop agencies or call center agencies into what it is today, which is most people working from home either independently or under a model where you're working for another agency or what we call a host. So um, there's a lot of misinformation and that's, that's the other thing. So you wanna keep that in mind as you're learning um, not one don't get your advice off forums let me just say that don't get your advice off forum forum boards there's a lot of people who are even in what we call mlm multi-level marketing and they haven't sold a ton of travel so just be careful with the advice is what i'm getting at if you're independent you can't just really diy when it comes to information you've got to make sure if you're running your own company you're getting the best most accurate info the other thing is you can get overwhelmed really quickly. All of this stuff adds up to, oh, how do I work with this vendor? How do I learn how to do this? Or what is a best practice? Or how should I be doing my scheduling? It's like a million things. So that would be on the con list for being fully independent. The other thing is there's not a lot of free resources for newbie agents because why are why would competitors show you how to do everything right there's not a ton of free resources out there to show you how to be a successful independent agent so just keep that in mind um it's a research wise it's not like a thing where you can google it you have to really be prepared to kind of probably invest in a training and do some other things to get it where you want it to be if you're hoping that it's going to be a full-time venture or, or not just a hobby state or make the type of money that you want to make to change you know whatever your life is or whatever your goals are so those are things to think about if you're going to be fully independent from day one now if you are experienced and you used to sell travel that process can be a little bit easier the one big thing you're really going to have to think about as a past successful travel agent that maybe worked in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, you got to bring it into today's environment. You got to learn how to run an online business. Those two things have to happen because when you open up your computer every day, you don't want to hear crickets. You want to see a bunch of leads that are coming in so you can sell, make commission, and then earn an income and have a career, right? So on the other end of the spectrum is do i want to work for an agency or you may have heard this process called hosting which is essentially when you are a 1099 like a contract employer employee not an employee that's not the right word a 1099 contractor is just that it's a 1099 contractor you are a contract person for an agency so the agency will go set up things like credentials they'll do that vendor relationship they'll have those set up so it does give you the ability to sell quicker which can be a really nice thing but i'll get to the i'm gonna so let me go through the pros first the pros of this setup whether you're working for an agency or you're hosting right is they've already they already have those credentialed numbers they've already set up the relationships with the vendors they usually have some type of branding identity set up in some cases um there's usually less setup in the processes so you don't have to do as much yourself if that's helpful to you um and it's not quite as isolating like there is someone you can probably call and check out for uh asking questions and things like that cons will be <laughs> these one you're gonna have to pay for those services right you're going to have to split your commission you're gonna have to pay for a part of your commission um, going forward so sometimes they have splits that are like 80 20 you keep 80 they keep 20 I've seen splits that are horrible they're like 50 50 so you do all of the hard work and you just give your host 50% that's a, not what I would consider a reasonable split so there's a lot of bad setups out there that will sell you on their marketing and sell you on other things but they're not good setups. So you have to really watch out for bad setups if you're going down this path. And you can't always establish your own brand identity. That's something that uh, a lot of them will not let you do. You have to use their brand and that doesn't allow for creativity. Sometimes that's a pro if you don't want to do that stuff anyway, but a lot of times it can be a con. There's less freedom. You are under contract, which means you are signing um, a contract for what uh, time frame that you're going to work together, what your commission splits are, what you can and can't do. So you want to keep that mind in mind as well. And you shouldn't expect training and support. You might think that this would have been on the pros list but uh, you remember you're a contractor so there will be limited training limited support um, a lot of people don't realize that sometimes especially with the bigger hosts they basically say okay you're set up you're gonna pay me a monthly fee and here's your login information you can go sell now but they don't still don't teach you how to be a skilled agent how to run an online business you're still going to have to learn that stuff so basically under the structure what you do get is you can sell faster 
in exchange for a portion of your commission, but you're still gonna have to learn some stuff on your own. So with that, I wanna also remind you guys, I have a totally free resource. Uh, it's my masterclass that will really go through the different setups so you can figure out what might be best for you personally. You can go to cruiseonvacation.com forward slash masterclass. I go through even more pros and cons and a couple other setups as well. Today we're talking about independent versus working uh, for someone else. And so um, there's more in there too if you're curious. Definitely check out that free resource. It's an hour of really digging in deep. Um, highly suggest that you take that. So at this part in the journey, guys, where are you? Are you team independent or are you team working uh, with or for someone else? I just want to know. Pop me a, a comment below. And then I'm also going to talk about now really what is best for you. You're looking for zero you know, complexity and nothing's going to be zero complexity. So I should say less complex startup and you don't care about branding yourself. That's not critical. You're okay with sharing a portion of your commissions in exchange for some of these other things. Then working under another agency might be perfect for you. Um, if, if you want to do it long term, right? Make sure that's a decision you're making for long term. If you want to make the most money, if you want to have your own branding, if you want to be the 100% shot caller in your business, and you're okay with it taking more time to get started, then fully independent might be perfect for you, right? So consider that. And I wanna actually propose a third and what I think the best solution is. It's really kind of like a hybrid approach and it strikes a really good balance. So in Careers on Vacation, this is what we help clients with every single day. We match clients with a temporary host with the goal of going independent long term. So this allows you to get started really quickly, get some experience, get some sales on the books, but because you have an advocate, us, in your back pocket, we're working working with you on how to reach short-term goals and long-term goals because let's face it, if you're working with or for someone else, their primary concern is their agency. They want you staying under the, your little their little umbrella forever, but there's a better model. You can do that for a little while and transition out. So we help match clients with a temporary host that allows them to still start marketing them and their brand, curating a new brand, but with a goal of going independent long term. So the great thing about this approach and having a hybrid is you have an advocate, you have our team at Careers on Vacation working behind the scenes with you to make sure you're making the best decisions, you're not getting any of the bad situations, weird contracts, you're not um, signing up for something that's just going to you're not gonna be able to get out of or bad commission split, those types of things. But you have an advocate that is only working in your best interest because let's face it, a host is not gonna teach you how to be an independent agent later when you feel like doing that because they want you to stay under their beautiful little umbrella, right? That's their goal is to keep you long term, sharing all, of, they get a portion of all of your commission. So when you work with careers on vacation, we are only working for you and what's in your best interest. So this hybrid model allows you to get started quickly while you're working on putting the plans and framework in place to go independent whenever you wanna pull that trigger in the future. This hybrid approach allows you the best and biggest short-term advantages and the best long-term advantages. So whether you change your mind or not in the future, you will have made the decisions that will make it easy for you to transition in the future. So I want to tell you guys about a couple different resources. Now that you've heard the pros and cons of both, you're probably thinking, maybe I want to be independent. Maybe I want to try out working for someone else first. So if you are team, uh, I want to work under an agency or work pop, potentially work with a host, the number one thing I really recommend that you pick up is our travel agency launch kit. It will still provide you with a few of those tools to help you make sure you're picking a good and reputable host. I have a whole host screening guide. I teach you the questions to ask, give you everything that you need to help you make a good decision at the beginning. So if you come back to me two years from now and you're like, oh, Cindy, I'm ready to go independent, or even if you do it on your own later, you won't be caught up in one of these bad situations and you'll have much better success as you proceed. And that's just one of the many tools. We teach you everything that you need to really get your agency launched in the next 30 days and it includes that 
post and how to screen for a good agency fit for you personally. So you can, you can find out the details there about on careersonvacation.com. That's our website. Just look under uh, the travel agency launch kit and you can find that information. Now, on the other hand, if you're like, nope, Cindy, I want 100% of my commission from day one. I want to be fully independent. Or if you're like, what was that hybrid thing you were talking about where I can start selling a couple weeks from now, but then putting my framework in place so I can go independent and eventually get 100% of my commission? Either of those scenarios, really the best fit for you is going to be to apply for careers on vacation. We will match you. If you're fully independent, we'll just give you the steps on how to set up fully independent, a roadmap, everything that you need to do that from day one. If you've never sold travel before and you kind of want to get your feet wet a little bit and do that hybrid approach where short term you're working with a host, but long term you're setting up your goals, uh, set, want to set up yourself for getting 100% commission in the future, that's what we do at Careers on Vacation. We'll match you with a perfect host to work with on a short-term basis, and then you can transition any time that you're feeling ready once you get all of that other stuff set up, right? So we will actually help you map your short and long-term goals in Careers on Vacation. We'll help you make the most amount of money both in the short-term and in the long-term. And also, if you haven't heard of Careers on Vacation before, guys, we have like 80 plus case studies right here on YouTube. Definitely go check those out. But we're ASTA affiliated. We you get access to my amazing team, the same team that got my travel business, took them from took us from six figures a year to over six figures a month. Yes, you didn't hear that wrong. You get access to my team. That includes my marketing professionals, my mindset professionals, my branding professionals, all of that. You get to, and it's not just like pre-done material. You get to interact live with these individuals, which is amazing. And I'm gonna give you a roadmap, like everything you need to be an independent agent or do the hybrid approach. So if that sounds interesting, you wanna avoid the stress and don't wanna make a bunch of mistakes, you don't wanna take five years before your, your agency is making great money, definitely think about applying for careers on vacation you can go to careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now and uh we'll just help you map out your goals just a discovery call to understand what you want to get from your travel business and see if it's a fit to work together so guys i no matter what path you take as you proceed in the industry i wish you so much love and abundance i want you to stay excited about working in travel i have my life has just been so different, you know, having started in this industry at 19 years old, I have traveled the world and seen so many things and I never lose enthusiasm for what I do every day. And I want to encourage you that you can do this. I'm a mama of three and uh, we travel, like I said, we're in Florida. <laughs> we're, I don't even know how long we're going to be here. We, we're going, came for a week, we're, we're going on three now and uh, we're even if we go home tomorrow, we're coming back in a few weeks. So. Anyway, it, it sounds crazy to other people, but this really is a fantastic lifestyle and I love it and I love sharing it with you guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you get all of my future content. Love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. If you like that last video, make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business. And also I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable, profitable, award-winning travel business. Check out the videos.